This is James from Epilogue. So today we received a request from a customer for a specialty project where they wanted to actually take a coffee mug and create a graphic that loops several times around the mug. We'll be showing how to set up this graphic, how to make it perfect on your laser every time. Let's get started. So here in our design software, we're ready to set up our page size. The first thing we need to know is how much space across the cup we want to engrave, which I've measured to be five and a half inches. So I'll make that my page width. Now for the page height, we need to know the circumference of the uh, mug. So we're gonna start by figuring out the diameter. Use some calipers, just measure that. And I've got 3.3 inches. So I'll come into my calculator, do 3.3 times pi, 3.141, and that gives me 10.36 inches. So currently, if we had set this up with the page height of 10.63 inches and took our graphic, we would rotate this graphic one time around. And what we're gonna do is actually take the graphic and put it diagonally across the page. And that'll allow, as it turns, to create a loop. Since we've made it the circumference one time, it would loop our cat graphic one time around. We want to actually loop that about, let's say, about three times around. So I'll come back to the calculator and take my 10.36 inches, multiply that by three, and I have 31.09 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and make that the page height. Now we're ready to set up our graphic. So I'll just move this to the top of the page. And you'll see here that I've chose a re repeating graphic. So the cat starts and ends both on the end on the same side. So basically, it's just going to allow me to repeat this graphic. The graphic height is 3.751 inches. So I'll come into my duplication settings and set this up for negative 3.751 inches. Now, when I hit Control D with that selected, it's going to duplicate that perfectly. And I'm just going to do that until it's just a little bit longer than the page height. Now, I don't want it to start and end with a partial cat, so I'll go ahead and select this, ungroup it, do my shape tool. I'm just going to select all of these nodes for this last cat and get rid of them. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just go ahead and group everything. And I'm going to move this right to that top left corner. Select the graphic again so it's on the rotate mode. I'm going to grab this little point here and just move it to the top left as well. Now it'll rotate to that bottom corner. Now it's a little longer than I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink that up. Once I'm happy with that, I'll check that top corner. Now, once both sides are all lined up, I can go ahead and print that over the laser dashboard. I'll choose the epilogue engraver and print. Laser dashboard, I'll go to my advanced tab, turn on my rotary attachment, and that's going to turn off the camera because camera is not really helpful in this situation. And I can set my page height at 31.09 inches. 
and I'll set my centering point to top left. That looks good, so I can set up my settings. So I'll go to 400 DPI. I'll do this at 30% speed, 100% power, and print. So I'm ready to put this on the rotary attachment. Now to make sure that this rotates evenly, I like to add a little weight. So I add a couple large batteries. And then I'm just gonna put a little rag in there to make sure that those batteries don't slide out because my, uh, my lid for this mug is not even, so it's gonna stop it from rotating. Next, I need to level the piece. So I'll put my level on here and just raise this up until it's level. And finally, I need to focus it. So I'll just jog this over a little bit. Now I can put on my focus gauge and raise the table until it's level. <laughs> Once it's just touching, I know I'm in focus. So now I need to set my centering point. I'll just jog this over. So it's right at the edge of that rim and choose centering point. Now I'm ready to start the engraving. So now we have a 360 degree engraved mug that looks really nice. I hope you found this tip helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you get alerted whenever a new video comes out. Thanks and have a great day.